Well, if it looks like I'm smiling, <laughs> I am. I just dot shot a ram we called the long ram. Um, I shot him at 25 yards. We've been sitting here for about an hour and a half and the whole herd happened to feed right up to us and I just smoked him. I'm Brian Rimza, and uh, we're in uh, northern Arizona, just outside of Camp Verde, and uh, we're just getting everything set up and ready to rock and roll. It's going to be a fun adventure. We got some uh, good sheep picked out and hope to find some better ones when we get to looking. My first scouting trip was in August, I believe it was August 21st. It was my wife, myself, and a friend of mine, Devin Hancock. And right before dark, I spotted my first three rams, one of which was a really nice ram who I would come to know well over my scouting. And I nicknamed him Chipper for a big chip he had in his left horn. Throughout the month of September, I was able to get up and scout for another four days. Uh, during those times, my goal was to get as many photos and pictures of the sheep as I could and videos so that we could use the videos and pictures to compare them to each other to try and identify the biggest ram possible. You know, learning to judge these animals is tough. I was fortunate to have Jay Scott as a good friend of mine, who's been fortunate to uh, help people harvest some really good rams. And uh, together we were able to evaluate the pictures we had and do side-by-sides with rams and use it to identify our top three rams that we were hoping to harvest. I first saw Long Wong on September 12th of this year. He was with nine other rams and a couple of ewes. I got great video of him. He was an extremely impressive ram with great drop, great flare. I was, he was a little bit light on the mass and I knew that from the beginning. Um, throughout my scouting, I would continue to see him. I saw him again on November 12th. I saw him again on November 30th. Uh, I saw him on December 12th and December 14th and December 15th.
we have just some of the most amazing video and pictures of the sheep. Uh, myself and Jay Scott spent countless hours within 100 to 300 yards of this ram, trying to really size him up and evaluate you know, what he really was. He was hands down the prettiest ram left in the unit after the other hunters had harvested, and that was the ram that we decided we were gonna go after on day one. The night before the hunt, the decision was made to go after Long Long. Day one, ready to go. Based on that information, we had vetted him that night and we decided we were going to hike up the bottom and I was going to go after him from the bottom because he was halfway up the side of the mountain when we had put him to bed. We got it in there first thing in the morning and wouldn't you know it, he had moved all the way up to the top. Based on that information, I had to hike all the way out and circle around and come in above him. I was able to come through the right saddle and put myself right on top of these sheep. And I was able to move to within 150 yards of the sheep. And as any bow hunter dreams of, the sheep actually fed my direction. And the first sheep to walk into bow range was Long Long. I just smoked the ram we called the long ram at 23 yards. I made a perfect shot. Uh, my buddy Matt was behind the camera, over the shoulder video. Uh, it's just, it, words can't express how happy I am. This is one of the pinnacles in my hunting career by far. To get this tag and to have the opportunity to chase these sheep and to get on a ram like that, uh, it's, it's unreal. I haven't even walked up to him yet, but I know he's down. We saw him go down. Um, I can't thank my family, my wife, my friends. Um, enough for all the help that they've provided. No blood trail needed with the uh, Ulmer Edge and the gold tip combo here. I'm gonna get across this rock thing. Oh my god. See as big as you thought?
Let me see that smile. We knew we had this big chip, but it makes him a warrior. Oh man. He is. That character is awesome. He is a stud. <laughs> Wow, he is impressive, buddy. Congratulations, man, good shooting. Oh my God. Well, this is the long ram. Uh, as my wife calls him, long long. We had been watching this ram. Jay Scott and I have been watching this ram for five days. Matt came up two days ago and helped us keep a tabs on him. Um, he was our top ram based off after the first two hunters, harvested two great rams. Uh, this was our top pick. He's extremely long. He's just a beautiful sheep. He flares way out. And uh, he's my sheep. Today is uh, December 16th. It's opening day of the Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep Hunt in Arizona in Unit 6A. And uh, I have 17 days of scouting in this unit. And I had seen this ram probably five or six times in those scouting days. And he was just always a super impressive ram. He's just got a tremendous curl. His horns flare uh, flare way out and they tip up. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful sheep. Um, he stepped out at 23 yards, quartering away, as you'll see on the video, and I just hammered him. Uh, my elite answer just smoked him with a gold tip broadhead and ulmer edge. I'm sorry, gold tip arrow and ulmer edge. And uh, he didn't go maybe 60 yards. Thanks for the help, man. Congratulations, brother. Yeah, the video is just killer. I'm excited to have it. It's a memory I'll have forever, along with being able to look at this guy in my house. Um, I, I just can't express how fortunate I, I feel to be able to have this opportunity and that luck shine on me to, uh, to draw this tag and have such great friends. Uh, my wife and my dad were down in the bottom watching everything go down, and they got to see, see us harvest this great ram. I don't even know what else to say. He's just a tremendous sheep, and I can't thank all my friends and family enough. 